guys. We are here at Algonquin Park. It is October 30th and we are doing a five day, four night canoe trip. As you can see, it's quite rainy and cold, but uh, we're gonna have some fun. I'm here with my friend Kevin. He, he loves animals. <laughs> Big animal guy. Whereabouts you going? Canoe Lake. Canoe Lake. You're not afraid of getting blown away today? Never. No? Be careful out there. Yeah. It's so windy. All right, we're all legal. It only costs us $49 each. Holy, the water's a bit rough, eh? Made it to Canoe Lake. As you can see, it's a bit wavy behind me. Uh, we're all bundled up though and ready to go. Um, should be fun. We've made it uh, quite a ways now. The first while was very rough, very windy. We're uh, hiding out behind this island right now and it's dead calm. We have a portage coming up soon. Oh, the legs, okay. 295 meter portage over a dam. All right, we just uh, stopped here, take a little snack break on TP Lake. We're just uh, in the cabbage here. And uh, actually, we had a nice surprise a few minutes ago. Sun came out to say hello, but it's gone again, again. Gone again, again. Backs and hips and stuff are starting to get sore, but it's gotten quite relaxing now. We're on some back little creek river things and uh, it's nice and calm. I wish you guys sitting at home could experience how nice and clean and fresh this oxygen is right now. Mmm! Damn beavers are making us portage with their little dam here. Okay, we're doing a lot to film this right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're dealing with. Holy, look at these waves! Look at these waves! We're dealing with insane headwinds right now. We're basically going backwards because I'm not paddling, I'm filming for you guys. But uh, this is what we're actually dealing with. This is the hard part. Okay, we gotta battle, we gotta battle! Right, we're all set up here. Campsite's pretty nice. We got, I think we got everything we need. We got a tent. We got a clothesline. We almost got fire. Hey, we do got fire. We got some shelter. We got a toilet. And we've got a beautiful view. Hey Kev, you know we're gonna keep bears away? What's gonna keep the bears away? This fire is a constant, constant struggle. It took a very long time to get this much wood together. And none of it's that good. Well, night one's dinner was a fail. This is supposed to be pasta and now it's more like soup. Uh, see you in the morning. Good morning. I uh, actually had a great sleep. It wasn't cold at all, but let's see what it's like outside. Oh my god. It's October 31st and it is snowing while I'm camping. Oh my goodness. That fire though. Whoa. It's time to pack up the tent. It's gonna be a bit cold on the fingies, packing it up since it has ice all over it. You people at home might be wondering, why the hell would you go on a canoe trip in November? Well, it's not, it's not October 31st. But when it's freezing cold out and the weather says it's gonna rain and snow the whole time, well, yesterday 
We fought some crazy waves, but we got to see two otters and a muskrat, and it was super cool right beside the canoe. And today, we woke up freezing cold, had to pack everything up freezing cold in the snow, and it sucked, and I wondered why the hell am I here right now? But then you get on this lake, it stops snowing, and the trees are just amazing. Snow covered trees in the distance. An absolute beautiful day on the lake. All right, we got a 2.3K portage to Ink Lake. Well, that was the hardest portage ever. 2.3K up and down hills, through the snow, through freaking rivers coming through the trail. But we're finally at the end. This also happened. That made it really difficult to, uh, to portage. Gotta send it down these stairs, get back on the water. It is already noon o'clock, so a uh, bit behind schedule. We gotta get going. Oh, hello there, Mr. Sun. Believe it or not, we just saw hail a little bit back. And uh, bald eagles, hooded ducks. Margansers. Okay, it's three o'clock, we still got some distance to do. Back's hurting, we're having freaking a great time. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. All right guys, we are here at our campsite. Today was an incredible day. We made it, we covered a lot of ground, like a lot. Today we saw snow, hail, sun, rain. It was cold. Perfect day. It was a perfect day. Now we're just gonna relax here, have some Halloween chocolate, and uh, try to stay warm for the night. Oh, and enjoy that beautiful view behind you. Sunshine, oh Mr. Sunshine, you make me happy when times are sad. <laughs> it is day three. Uh, it's nice to see some sunshine in the morning but it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It's cold out here. We've tried for about an hour to get a fire going and that never happened. I really wish you guys could experience how bone chilling this breeze is. You have no idea. It is an absolutely gorgeous November 1st to be paddling this morning. There's snow, there's a bit of sun, some blue skies. We're uh, coming up to the creek right now where uh, we go down a bit, portage, go down a bit, portage, and we have five portages. <laughs> If any of you ever make it out here, um, you're gonna face some beaver dams along some creeks and literally just paddle as hard as you can at them because even though they look impossible, like this one behind us, we just piled right up it like it was nothing. Hello and welcome to campsite number three. This was supposed to be the fire, but we got an unreal shelter with a nice fire. Oh my God, look at all the firewood. Oh, it's lit. We got our nice tent set up there with our beautiful view right there. Today's canoe was really nice. It was like we had the main lake, big open water canoes. Then we had lots of stuff through, back and forth through beautiful creeks. <coughs> Uh. <coughs> and we had lots of fun portages and the weather was great. It was pretty chilly all day, but we saw some sun and it was overcast, no rain yet. Anyways, looking forward to another full day of canoeing tomorrow. Good morning, friends. 
it is day number four it poured rain all last night it looks wet outside but it's time to get up and go canoeing Woo! Kevin you pumped for today row row your boat baby <laughs> Well, for the second morning in a row, we could not get a fire started, even using this cooker thing as a blowtorch. So now we're just gonna have some breakfast in bed. Of course, we got oatmeal. Oatmeal has been the savior of this trip. It is by far the best meal of the day. And I can't wait. Mm. All right, so Kevin, right now, I'm taking a time lapse and I'm gonna use the audio that I'm talking right now to go over the time lapse so there's some audio for it and it's going to be really weird because I'm going to be talking about taking my tent down and it's already going to be taken down. Here on Burnt Island Lake, it is a huge lake. It goes way, way back behind us. Uh, we've been on here for quite a while now. Still got a bit to go till a couple more portages, then we'll be done for the day. I highly recommend not portaging like this. Kills the shoulder. I, I think I've had a bruise in the shoulder since day one, right where the rope lays. It's heavy. <sighs> As you can tell, it's getting quite misty out here. It's a bit of an eerie feeling. We're only about a pat an hour's paddle away from like our vehicle, the very end right now. So uh, we're either gonna camp really close to where we are right now, or we're just gonna paddle right in. We'll see what, what happens. Well, as you can see, we are complete. We finished one day early due to today and day two's insane ground we covered. It was a long paddle today, but we had a great time. It was beautiful, this nice misty day. I had an amazing trip. I highly recommend getting out to Algonquin Park and doing a big canoe trip. It was absolutely beautiful. Really tough work. Couldn't have enjoyed it more. Make sure you guys like Live Now on Facebook, facebook.com slash Zach and a Hat or link downstairs. I got lots more travels coming. Make sure you guys stay tuned. See you next time.